Uh, in Luanda, the double bedroom is configured as a suite, but the existence of only one bathroom compromises the privacy of that room, since you have to cross it to go to the bathroom. Uh, in Brasilia, the bathroom is slightly displaced, and it ensures more privacy to that room, because the door is aligned with the wardrobe, and it is a more neutral area to access. Uh, the kitchen in Luanda relates to an intermediate space that merges with the circulation, but in Brasilia it sets two distinct areas. We can set the dining and cooking area and the living area. Um, the, the space cells address the basic demands of living, uh, sleep sanitizing the basic needs, but there are also different strategies for future expansions, as a, an extra room or another space to work. In Brazil, it is predicted the addiction of a block to suppose transversely on the previous blocks, with a staircase elevation in the central quarter. Uh, in in the sorry, I said Brazil. Uh, in Brazil, there's a dismembering of the edge. The prisms are now able to slide on the ground and the connecting element can disappear. There is a new smaller block that comes from the reconfiguration of the intimate block and the position of this block is flexible. It can stay parallel or perpendicular to the other blocks. In altimetry, we can observe that there is a grid that's 4 by 4 and in which model as 2.5 by 2.5 meters in Luanda and in Brasilia there is a grid of 8 by 9 in which model as 1.25 or 1.25 meters. This grid interferes with the position and the design of the unit box, the furniture layout and with the definition of the place and facade. In Brasilia we also can observe that the project is symmetric following two axes. This square right here is, is a mirror of this one, and this one is a mirror of this one. In altimetry, uh, in housing water, the, the grid stays the same, but in housing Brazil, uh, it doesn't really happen. It's a little bit forced to say that it happens in the human box. So. Uh, this prefabrication. Uh, this model of design indicates the use of prefabrication as purified in both projects. It, uh, uh, it is predicted a prefabrication of a precast concrete C that can be juxtaposed or stacked in the um, In both projects, we can observe that the treatment of the facades favor the physical and visual relations of the emphasis uh, audiences with the central quartier, instead of the solar orientation inclusions. The prisms are sealed by a single basic surface uh, in the interface with the factory, which is opposed by the client treatment to the other facades. Uh, the connection, uh, connecting elements uh, between the two prisms has also a partial shading function. Um, in the facades, there is the same modulation of 1.25 in both projects, but they differ in the position of the unit box and also in the unit box themselves. In Luanda, we have uh, two opposite openings in the side of in side walls of each hydraulic block, and in Brazil, there's just one window facing the. Uh, Um, in Luanda, the, uh, the designing of the opening, open, openings is free from the brick crust uh, concrete structure. And according to the solar orientation, it can roll back uh, from the shape limits and opening, opening or closing the side. In, in Luanda, the lot isn't defined, described only as a flat plot in the outskirts of Luanda. We searched for, for some photos of the outskirts of Luanda, 
And as we can see, there is no rule to follow. So group SP chooses to organize the terrain from the shape H of the base model. The line facades of this model define the boundaries of the plots. The units can be juxtaposed in blend to consecutive line facades or interspersed. Uh, this proposal is dynamic because although it does not predict the increase of housing units, it considers the possibility of an increase of the density. The group SP defines the possibility of evolution of urban network in three phases. And by looking at these three phases, we estimate that the population of the density may increase more than 70%. Uh, the implementation of sustainable housing in Brasilia was planned in Villa Planalto. It is a zone with a great view to the Paran Valley in a wealthy city like Brasilia. It was proposed the creation of uh, approximately 172 residents. Although it doesn't not have uh, physical limits, I read about the plan reveals as in Luanda that the fine limits of the age move the distribution of the units in the field. In, the, in this example of organization made by group SP, the form page based model is used only 39 of 175 uh, 72 units predicted. Uh, there are also considerate uh, they also considered uh, uh, other two organizing forms. Uh, the blocks can slide on the field, but the connection element is hold, or the connecting element can disappear. Here we have the both interventions, and these plans are in scale, so we can see that uh, housing planet is really smaller compared, compared to green housing in Brazil. The relations between the units and public space are also distinct. Uh, in Luanda, uh, there are three quarters, which geometry is not too strict, but there are, uh, they are, there is an exception when the pedestrian circulation reaches two uncle paths. Um, all the plots have immediate contact with the pedestrian path. Uh, and the, com the contacts of the unit with the circulation can be done in three ways. The base cell immediately perpendicular to the circulation, allowing the access to the interior of the quarter by in center, a block parallel to the circulation above the base cell, the base cell perpendicular to the circulation retreated on the field. Uh, despite that the housing blood generates a part of where it is possible to configure it at least, the privacy of this is dependent on the, na on the neighboring lot configuration. As we can see, if this neighbor here puts a block in there, this patio becomes private. But since there is no block there, it's like a semi public space. Uh, in Brasilia, the interior of the quarter does not exist. The way the units are displayed in the field allows several walking routes. The primary uh, access roads are the ones already existing in the city, peripheral to the terrain, these two. And from these accesses, two complementary systems are different. Uh, collecting and connecting streets between the main roads, this one, that one, and service roads of housing units which causes in Pulisa. Group SP designs a pedestrian circulation the corridor away from the automobile traffic that connects the plots to the public areas. The contact of the, of the unit with the circulation can be done in many ways due to the variation of uh, configurations allowed. The introduction of green areas increases the possibility the possible interfaces of the unit with its peripheral situations. And even the project extends, it is used as a zoom sample to illustrate the various possibilities. Mm. 
the two cases uh, set different privacy degrees. In Rwanda, the unit tends to close themselves, and in Brazil, the public and private space blends. Uh, so, uh, at first analysis, the similarities between the two projects are evident, but uh, in urban analysis, the two proposals are most distant. And is there where the different projects' intentions are visible? In Rwanda, the positioning of the units on the ground creates courtyards that, although open, configure intimate spaces. <coughs> and in Brazil, the idea of community is what is felt. 